you want to sell your house for a top dollar, here are four inexpensive, small things that anybody can do. Hi, I'm Allison Michael, and welcome back to House PhD. At the end of the day, if you want to sell your house for a top dollar, it has to show good. The better it shows, the more someone will pay for it. So if you're thinking of selling your house in the next six months, here are four things to do before you put it on the market. Improvement number one, the hardware. Nobody wants to grab those old rusty handles on your cabinet doors and drawers. Ew! So before you sell, make sure to replace those with something a little more in style. Buyers today want new, not grandma's house. So you could easily go to Home Depot on a Sunday and have all new hardware by Sunday night. Improvement number two, painting. Just because you like the color purple doesn't mean everybody else does. Buyer's first impression is everything, so don't make the first thing they see be an eyesore. Instead, it's highly recommended you paint it in more neutral colors so the buyers can picture their paintings on your wall since not yours. Improvement number three, the kitchen. This is the most expensive room in the house, but the least expensive things that are gonna give you the biggest return are the appliances. One of the biggest turnoffs the buyers are gonna see is when they open up the stove and see years of old burnt food stuck on there. <laughs> Gross. They also don't like opening up the dishwasher and smelling a funky mildew smell. People like to start off their new life with new appliances, so get some new appliances and your kitchen will show that much better. And improvement number four, the bathroom. A little grunge in the bathroom can be a huge turnoff for your buyers, because to be honest, it's disgusting. So you don't want your buyers to open up your shower curtain and see moldy grout, so make sure you deep clean that grout. If you can't change the tiles, at least re anything that's discolored or that's showing any wear and tear, so that your bathroom gives its best show and in its best smell for your buyers. So these are four inexpensive tips that anybody can do, and I highly recommend them before listing your house for sale. And if you have any questions about the local area, you're thinking about a move, or you just have any questions in general, feel free to reach me. All of my information where you can reach me is listed next to the video or in the description, so feel free to get in touch with me any way that works for you. I'm Allison Michael, and this has been another episode of House PhD.